Chin's feet and speed and bump. Like shin. <laughs> cut bug. My little cut bug right here. Mom? Back from I Sonoma. I will tell you. We survived. Made it back last night. Good morning. Just enjoying some vitamin D on the patio with the family. I'll give a thought and reflection on the race here in a little bit. Just soaking up the boys right now. Oh, that's so much. Oh, I thought it was a yawn. It was a burp. <laughs> Is that right? That a lot of hours. Still Ninja Turtles around here. Still Ninja Turtles. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Unpacking from a trip. Uh, I am a hurting unit very very sore and the ankle you know feels a little better than yesterday so that's a good sign but it's just tender in the area that popped so anyway but it does feel a little better yeah it's just I'm just feeling it right now it's just it's just tight it's, I don't know Ugh, I'm still gonna have it looked at but uh, despite the negative of not being able to finish the positive is that I got a fresh pair of new socks. Thank you, Lake Sonoma 50, for some new, I love socks. I love good running socks. boys have been so incredibly patient with my training for Lake Sonoma we've kind of I, I kind of was delaying finishing the uh, the playhouse so the weather is good time to start time to keep working guys thanks for being patient with me oh man Are you supposed to mix hot sauces? I don't know. Is that against FDA regulations? FDA regulations? I don't know. You can talk. <laughs> oh. It's getting late. So, I need you to hold me accountable, YouTube. Need your help. Need your help. Please. Don't ever let me, ever, ever, let me run another ultra race without a crew, all right? I love this sport, I love running, but you gotta have a crew for an ultra race. Anything over, even, even 25 miles, I would say, but definitely over 30 miles is considered an ultra race, 50K and above. Never let me do it again, like, oh man, it's so valuable to have a crew, which is a collection of your family members, friends, who are there to support you, to give you food along the way so you don't have to carry it the whole way like I was doing, to hand off your water, bo your water bottles quickly so you don't have to fill them up at every aid station, which takes time. You just, boom, pass and go, pass and go. And, and, they can tell you how far ahead the next group of people is, or how far, you know, how far ahead second place is, or first place, or, you know, wherever you're at in the race, and that is invaluable information for your mental state in the middle of a run, a race. So, gotta, you gotta hold me accountable. Don't ever let me run another ultra race without a crew. And so, if you're out there, question of the day, I mean, I don't know how this will happen, but maybe we can coordinate down the road if I do an ultra race in New York, for example, and you're on the East Coast, who knows? Maybe we could, you know, we can go and run races together or California or Wisconsin or Texas or Oklahoma. I don't know if I'd run an ultra race in Oklahoma, but you never know. So just putting that out there, question of the day, would you like to crew an ultra race someday? And obviously Colorado, if you're in Colorado, like I'm going to be doing... Well, I'm going to be doing one in Colorado. Actually, two more in Colorado this year and one in Utah. So, anyway. 
Hold me accountable. I know that was a lot. The ankle is, the ankle is, it doesn't feel awesome. It doesn't feel awesome.